Hey guys, so today we have another episode of Mopar News for September 2020. We've got some cool stuff, like some new widebody Challenger packages, a new Maserati supercar, some Ram 1500 TRX stuff, and some awesome FCA renderings for some potential future vehicles. So let's jump right into it. We'll start things off today by looking at the new widebody options for the Dodge Challenger. For the 2021 model year, the Challenger widebody lineup has been expanded to include the RT Scat Pack Shaker and the TA392. So before now, if you wanted to add the Shaker or TA packages to your Challenger, you would have had to forego the widebody. Well, not anymore. Both of those cars are powered by the 6.4 liter Hemi V8 with 485 horsepower and 475 pound-feet of torque and either a 6-speed manual transmission or 8-speed automatic. Of course, the wide body package adds 3.5 inch wider flares, 305 35 20 tires, 20 by 11 inch rims, and SRT high performance adaptive suspension as well. Over a regular scat pack, the wide body Challenger gains 2 tenths of a second in the quarter mile, running 12.1 seconds, and is also 2 seconds faster around a lap at a racetrack. So the Challenger TA392 widebody starts at $49,090 and it adds tons of features over the standard RT Scat Pack widebody model that you can see on screen, like a black fuel filler door, satin black painted hood, functional hood scoop, air catcher headlights, a cold air intake, TA bodyside graphics and decals, and more. And the Challenger Scat Pack Shaker widebody starts at $47,690 and that will add the shaker hood and air intake, decals, satin black rear spoiler, and other stuff as well. Next up we have the new Maserati supercar, the all new MC20, which will be coming out for 2022. Maserati of course is known as one of the premium Italian brands of FCA, and they are looking to make a big splash with this new vehicle, ready to take on the likes of Lamborghini, McLaren, and Ferrari. Pricing is unknown as of now, but it's expected there will be a coupe and a convertible with a gas engine, a plug-in electric version, and a battery electric version. The MC20 features a mid-mounted twin-turbocharged 3.0-liter Neptune V6, which delivers 621 horsepower and 538 pound-feet of torque, paired with an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission, and a mechanical limited slip differential. And of course, this will be rear-wheel drive. As for the body, the MC20 weighs just 3,306 pounds thanks to a lightweight monocoque construction and tons of carbon fiber, including on the front splitter, roof, and side sills. The aerodynamics was also a big focus here, with over 2,000 hours of wind tunnel testing and thousands of simulations done. So the final product includes sweeping LED headlights, sleek horizontal taillights in the rear, a dual exhaust coming from the fascia, a massive carbon fiber rear diffuser, and the big Maserati Trident badge front and center. And of course there's also butterfly doors to complete the supercar look. With all that power and the lightweight body, the MC20 can do 0-60 to in just 2.8 seconds and hit a top speed of 193 miles per hour. There's also 6 exterior paint colors which all have a fancy Italian name, but I'll just say the English versions. There's Bold White, Genius Yellow, Winning Red, Infinite Blue, Black Enigma, and Mystery Grey. Onto the inside, there are several customizable drive modes like Wet, Sport, GT, Corsa, and ESC Off, each of which will change different parameters like the steering feel, throttle sensitivity, adaptive suspension, and suspension height. And inside there are going to be two different 10 inch displays, one for the vehicle information and one for the entertainment. Now we move over to focus on the Ram 1500. Most people including myself had thought that the new Hellcat Ram, the 1500 TRX, was named after the T-Rex dinosaur. After all, it made sense considering that the main competitor of the TRX was the Ford Raptor, another truck named after a dinosaur. However, it now turns out that the TRX was named due to legal reasons more than anything else. The TRX designer, Mike Gillum, said that there were over 200 possible names that the company was considering all written down on a sheet of paper, but the legal department couldn't get any of those names ready fast enough for the reveal of the truck. So he talked about this where he said, quote, They looked and they said, what do we already have the rights to? And we actually had TRX. It ran for, I think, just one year. It was an off-road package we offered on Ram. And it was sort of a little bit obscure. Every now and again, I'll see one driving around. But it was kind of a cool name. They thought, yeah, you know what? It's simple. It's memorable. We own it already, which was the big thing. So let's just go with that. It was, again, one of these things where we didn't overthink it too much. So indeed, the TRX and TRX4 were used on both the Ram 1500 and Dodge Dakota, and that's the story of the new TRX name. Cool to get a little bit of insight into the company. 
Continuing on with the topic of the Ram 1500 TRX, it looks like that 702 horsepower truck will soon be exported to Europe. AEC Europe is the official importer of Dodge and Ram vehicles to the European Union, and they have confirmed their plans to sell the TRX in that region. The demand isn't so strong overseas due to things like government regulations, high gas prices, and the overall size of the trucks. However, they are still going to be available for those who want them. John R.F. Muratori, who is the Chief Operating Officer of AEC Europe, talked more about this move, saying, quote, we are very optimistic about the start of the Ram 1500 TRX. This is due to the steadily growing demand for high performance pickups in Europe and the expected popularity of this unique model of the Ram series. The Ram 1500 TRX is being tested to ensure it complies with EU regulations and is expected to be available for delivery in December of 2020." End quote. Now the one crazy detail here is that the TRX in Europe will cost well over $100,000 US. Finally, the last thing I want to go over is some very cool renderings of potential upcoming FCA vehicles. Obviously, these are all created by various artists, and they're just cool ideas that really have nothing to do with Chrysler themselves, but they are awesome to look at and talk about. So first up, we have an absurd Chrysler 300 utility coupe, where the 300 sedan has been morphed into a very unique looking two-door truck. Obviously, something like that will probably never happen, but it's very cool to look at. Future underscore boy underscore design on Instagram also sent me this awesome rendering of a future 300 sedan with a totally revised front end and a different grille and some very sleek headlights. This one really looks super unique, although it does kind of remind me of a Hyundai as well. On screen I'll also show some other 300 designs as well, all of them which look really cool and could suit the future of the vehicle. Next up will be some SUV designs, which also could be used for the potential return of the Chrysler Aspen. This blue one here looks like a beast, and the red one also looks very modern too. And finally, Abby Malik Design on Instagram has created a wood grain Jeep Grand Wagoneer concept that just looks tremendous. So that's the end of this video guys, what do you guys make of all that information? Let me know down in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for all your Mopar content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.